Welcome to the seven day energy routine challenge, the daily energy routine challenge. I'm Titania and if you are starting today or if you are on the, on the second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, wherever you are is perfect and keep on going. Good for you for starting this challenge. All right, we're just gonna begin because my mom, Donna, and Dondi, my sister, have already begun the challenge. So, here we go. We are going to start with the four thumps. The first thump is below your eyes on this bone right here. You're going to tap, press in, massage, or even tap in the space if it feels like it's too much. This bone right here, this point along the underneath of your eyes right there is in line with the stomach and it helps with grounding. Breathe in, in through your nose, out through your mouth because that also hooks up your energies. <sighs> that energy goes right down into the ground. The next thump is K27, which stands for Kidney Meridian and the 27th point on Kidney Meridian. You're gonna find your collarbone, drop down an inch in the middle of your collarbone where your collarbone ends and you're gonna tap here with some pressure. You don't want it to be light. You can also tap right, left, right, left, <sighs> like gorillas because this brings up some of your confidence and strength, but it also tunes in to your energy. This will bring up your energy when you feel like you are having a weak spot in the day. Do K27 rather than grabbing a cup of coffee. <sighs> and now we're going to go into the middle of our chest. This is the thymus gland, but it is that, that sternum bone right here. We are going to go right, left, right, left, right here. You can also massage, tap, or do it in the air if it feels like it's too much for you. Any way you can, but you're gonna thump here. You're gonna massage, you're gonna tap, and this connects in with your immune system. So we want to be healthy through this next year. This is a really good thing to do anytime you can. Put it in your back pocket. Anytime you feel like you're in a big crowd because your immune system will stay strong. Ah, love it. Okay, now we're gonna drop down about an inch, maybe two inches, depending on the size of your breasts. These are the spleen neurovascular points underneath your nipples. <laughs> so for guys, it's about two inches down, I would say. And we're gonna tap right here, but you can also move along the whole ridge right here. It connects in with your spleen points and spleen neurovascular points and your spleen meridian points. And this has to do with metabolizing. It also touches in with a little bit of liver here too, detoxifying. But metabolizing emotions, mood, food from the holidays. Yes, anything that you can metabolize to help you think clearer, uh, get your energy back so things look easier in your way. It's also really good for any debilitating illness, metabolizing those energies. Spleen points, that's right, all right. So those are the four thumps, here, 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 and here. Here. All right, so we are going to do the crossover shoulder pull. We're going to take one hand, put it on the opposite shoulder, dig in, give yourself a little massage, and pull it over to your hips. You can even put a little movement in there. Take your other shoulder, dig it in, give yourself a nice little massage, pull it over to the other hip, and we're going to keep on crossing over. You can put in a little bit of a twist or a dance motion. That even works even better because we are turning on our energies. We are moving a little bit so that the energies don't get stuck, but we are also crossing over the right and left hemispheres of the body. Yeah, let's just bring in a little bit on our face. <sighs> yeah, cross over shoulder pull. All right, 
Let me just get my footing here because I'm on a big cliff. <laughs> We're gonna... All right, let me step back because now we are going to cross over our energies. And how we do that is take one arm and take it to the opposite knee and the other way, breathing deeply, just like an exaggerated march, swinging your arms high and wide. Yes. <laughs> you can even put on a little tune, you can hum, you can even do it in a circle. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Any way you want. You could do low kicks, you can do it in your chair, you could go up to the knees, or you could do high kicks crossing over any way you can because it crosses over your energies it helps you feel better it helps you think clearer and it just gives you a better peace of mind for anything you have to do all right we're gonna do the alternate Wayne Cook posture so we are standing you can also do this in your chair so you can take your arms really really wide give a little stretch and then cross them turn your palms over clasp them bring them on under and we're going to breathe in as we breathe in we pull our body back and as we breathe out we come forward a little bit in order to get all that juice going up your spine breathe in in through the nose, out through the mouth. Do this about three times. Open it up. Let's do it on the other side. Stretch open wide, cross your palms, clasp them and bring them up on the other side. We're gonna breathe in and out. And as you're doing this, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. <laughs> you're crossing over your energies. We always want to cross over our energies. But this was named after a man, Wayne Cook. And he was a stutterer. One more time. And so he found that by doing this exercise, open up your arms, touch your fingertips together, place them on your forehead or in between your eyebrows, which is the third eye. So when he began to do this exercise, he found that he was thinking clearer, he was not stuttering anymore, and he could do his presentations with grace and ease, not messing up on any of the words. And he felt a little bit more confident too. Breathe in and out. So you wanna take three deep breaths here, and then you wanna land on your heart with those temple fingers okay we're gonna bring it back up to our crown place a crown on our head <laughs> and we're gonna begin to open up our crown we're gonna make space in our head sometimes we think too much and so this is what it is on your forehead press in pull apart press in pull apart do you just start inching up ah press in Pull apart like you're opening up your head for more space. You're going to want to go all the way back. And then you're going to land on your shoulders. You're going to actually go all the way down your neck and then land on your shoulders. You're going to cross your hands because I always like to cross anything. Oh, massage yourself a little bit and then drag your hands down and land them on your chest. Isn't that feeling good? Rate yourself right now. How are you feeling right now compared to when you started? That's a really good thing. It's also a really good thing to keep a record throughout this seven day challenge and maybe you want to keep doing it more past the seven days and see where your energy is. I bet it's going to be good. Okay, let me ground myself here. All right, the next thing we're going to do is heaven and earth. So it's connecting heaven and earth. We're gonna breathe in and out. Let's rub our hands together, connect back into our thighs, which imagine sending those, that energy from your hands all the way down your legs, all the way down into your feet and into the earth. And if you're in your room, you can imagine them going underneath the floorboard 
into the earth. Yeah, so you wanna get really good and grounded, and then we're going to bring up those hands back into prayer-like fashion, and then breathe in, and then you're going to hold your breath and reach up to the heavens and down to the earth. You're gonna stretch up. And then when you can't hold it any longer, come back into that center place, letting go of your breath, and again, Reach up to the heavens and down to the earth, stretching in between the two. And again on the other side, reach up and reach down, knowing that you stand in the center of heaven and earth in your world, in balance, in harmony, all the way down. So what you are doing, keep going, breathe in, hold your breath. What you are doing, this is good for joints. This is good for circulation through your body. This is good for arthritis. And this is also good for balance. <sighs> and then you're gonna open it up, connect into the heavens above, connect in with your world, and you're going to cross, cross, cross. We're crossing here, crossing over our energies all the way down. And we're gonna just roll up our energies to come back home to ourselves all the way up connect back in and move it on in back to your heart that center of who you are now we're going to zip all this in and make it stay so you are going to take your hands at your pubic bone and we're going to imagine imaginary zipper all the way up through the center part of your body all the way up to the bottom lip and we're gonna do it on the back because I think it's a really good protection to do it in both ways, okay? From your tailbone all the way back, up your spine, think where you're going, all the way up, and then you can catch that energy, go all the way up around the, top, the back of your head, to the front of the head, to the top lip, take those two energies, twist them off <laughs> imagine that you have a key you lock that energy it th you throw it away and it disappears into the ethers that my friends is for protection protecting your boundary protecting your space really coming into your center really good okay the last one is really integrating everything you're going to put one hand in your belly button and one hand in your third eye you're going to push in and you're gonna pull up. I also like to take the top of my hand and place it on the top of my head. That hooks in with hormones. <sighs> you may feel yourself taking a sigh, but eventually you'll feel, oh, I'm hooked up. This energy of the navel, the umbilical cord, it goes right down to your source, whether it is your family of origin or the source of where you have come from. Each one of us come from that beautiful star, that personal star that is ours, but it connects in with our source, whether it is your God, your goddess, your angels, your guides. And then this point here is the connection in the third eye, which is the sixth chakra. And these two connect all the chakras together and it hooks them all up and it also makes a reset for your energy field. Every exercise that we have done today, it sets it in. I'm going to add something here because I always like it because I'm quite sensitive. Take your top hand and place it in the hollow of your neck, right underneath your skull. You're gonna push in and you're gonna pull up here. That's another way to do the hookup. So whichever way feels good, maybe both of them feel good. Okay, let's, let's do the third. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Okay, let's go down to the tailbone. Okay, still umbilical cord and tailbone. The last hookup right there. Push in, pull up. It just makes a beautiful balanced hookup. I love it. And with all of this, you're gonna reach up to the heavens once more. Be grateful for something in your life 
this is a new year, a new you. And you have so much to be grateful for, for because there are so many possibilities to come. Oh my goodness, think of all of them and just be grateful for something in your life because you have grown and you have stepped into your strength, into your strong self with confidence into this new year. Bring it on into your heart. And in your heart is a place called heaven rushing in. Heaven rushes in to bring that energy that you have created with that gratitude. And when you create gratitude and thanksgiving, then you can't be sad in that moment, bringing in gratitude and thanksgiving. And for all of this, I thank you for creating this with me because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you for all of you. And I thank my life too. Thank your life. Thank your body. Thank your family. You know, every single place in life is a place to grow and it is a place to step into our light and our strength. And I wish that for you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> we will see you again.